Thank you so much, sir. And just we move on to the next, uh, our special guest for today. He is the Vice Chancellor, Professor P. V. G. D. the Father Editor. A small introduction about sir. He is a very passionate teacher in the field of information technology and an academic administrator. As the Vice Chancellor of Amber University, he is PhD in the repositioning of university by converging with industry while exploring new models to challenge the status quo. He guides the development of all the academic departments. You go on the My campus, so uh, no further introduction is required. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Chief guest of um, today's uh, function. A local person that way, known to be Shai Bhattam. And a professional who was handpicked by none other than the Honorable Prime Minister of the country, Narendra Modi Ji. You know, you know him as one of the best Prime Ministers that uh, India had ever seen. And uh, you know, he handpicked this gentleman from Vishakhapatnam, Buddha Chandra Shekhar. <laughs> who has been doing a great work across various verticals, I'm currently being at AACT as a Chief Coordinating Officer, but his wheels are into various domains and verticals. I'm so happy to have him here as a Chief Guest for today's uh, function. Equally happy that on the dais in the midst of us, we have our uh, Chairman, Tamil Pradesh State Council for Higher Education. Very warm, eloquent person, an educationist. Almost every youngster, you know, they look at him as a model. Professor Hemchandra Reddy, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, and who is in fact driving the state policy as a chairman of uh, the State Council for Higher Education who is being liked by none other than the most dynamic Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Vyas Jagan Mahmudiya. So one is liked by the Prime Minister, one is liked by the Sixth Chief Minister, so I am there in the presence of both of them, so happy that way. And uh, Mr. Prasad Yadu from Hyderabad and uh, Kavita Natarajan. Welcome to Andhra University. And Ganesh, I call him as Cointech Ganesh. He understands, you know why? Because he was running a company by name Cointech when I knew him. 2015 or 14, if I am correct. And uh, he was frequently visiting the university when I was there in the Department of Computer Science for a long time, getting some resources to handle, you know, Java related courses, etc., all these things. So I know him almost for the last uh, six, seven years. All uh, the distinguished uh, teachers, I am told that around 175, the best teachers were asked to be present over here today and I see most of them are known to me and some of them were under my tutelage for a long time as students of uh, Andhra University Computer Science Department. So happy to be there in the midst of all of you and uh, congratulations to all of you because you know, we are all, you know, winning the awards of best teachers today. In the presence of Andhra University, the awards are given, being given to you by, this, you know, Bharat, uh, uh, is it a trust? Bharat, uh, yeah, yeah. So the name of the award is Bharat Education Excellence Awards, right. Awards are being given to you in the portals of the university. You know, Andhra University, you all know, it's being, uh, regarded as an academic uh, citadel when it comes to promotion or recognition of talent. So today, you know, your talent is recognized in the portals of the university. 
a wonderful thing because this is the university which was lectured by none other than Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan. He served Andhra University as one of the founding vice chancellors. Of course, Sir C. R. Reddy was the first vice chancellor to Andhra University and later for about uh, nine years, Dr. Sarvepalli functioned here as a vice chancellor. And uh, from here, in fact, he moved to Benares Hindu University as a vice chancellor and from there he became the vice president of the country and then later he became a president. And when somebody reached him, you know, that because he served for a longer time as a teacher and after becoming the, the president of uh, India and uh, after completion of his tenure, when someone approached him that why not, you know, the country celebrate his birthday, he said that don't celebrate my birthday, instead of that, you know, call it as a teacher's day and reward all the teachers. Soil, you know, has got that kind of a part. So I am so happy that way that you are all brought here by the nation. And you are all being rewarded with a certificate in the blessings of Andhra uh, University. So, congratulations to all of you for winning these uh, awards. And you know, you are all teachers, right? In fact, this is my 34th year of service as a teacher. Of course, for five years as an administrator, but honestly speaking, 27, 28 years of teaching experience, leaving okay, the six, seven years of administrative experience. You know, as a teacher, you know, I had you know maximum satisfaction and fulfillment in my life. So you know what teaching is. I would always defend myself because. I know my classmates, my juniors, etc., who have grown up to become CEOs of multinational companies, big, big companies. Whenever a kind of comparison arises, I would simply tell them that in a complete rational society, the best of the best people would always become teachers. And all other people would be for something less than that. That's it. Yes, I strongly believe in that. That's the I took statement. <laughs> right. So, we're all enough into the teaching field. What a wonderful feeling it is. Because you as a teacher, you are a man devoted for learning. For the purpose of truth as a creative endeavor. And you are able to in fact, you know, read and study and understand faster than any other person. And at the same time, you are a critic and you are responsible for transfer of knowledge from one generation to another generation. Sometimes, trying to understand the pitfalls of the knowledge that's been imparted to the previous generation and then you are trying to correct yourself and transfer the same to the next generation. This is what, in fact, all of you have been doing here. But so, if you look at how the subjects have been changed over the last two, three decades, especially with reference to engineering, with reference to computer science, Everything is changed. So you are a student more or less always. Always you are a student. So that means now today, whether you are a science teacher or a language teacher or engineering teacher, as a best teacher, the best thing what you can do is to do your best. But doing your best is not just good enough you will have to be a continuous student trying to understand the new things active yourselves understand the psychology of the students demands of the industry, demands of the community transfer the knowledge and compete against your service today you are receiving an award wonderful thing once you leave this hall and go back to your college, because it's a connected world, more or less, not just limited to your college, everybody looks at you. Till yesterday you were just a normal teacher, but today you know you have an award and reward. Bharat Excellence Award. That you are receiving the award from the hands of Buddha Chandrasekhar as well as Emperor Reddy in the premises of the university. So automatically, everybody looks at you. 
tomorrow onwards, you know, more responsibility. Responsibility in the sense, you know, people do expect some kind of a consistency from you. Some kind of a high performance experience from you from tomorrow onwards. So what exactly is this high performance experience? Does it mean to say that again going back and standing in front of the classroom and making use of the chart and thus kind of a thing and delivering some kind of a content? No, not exactly. You will have to raise your standards and at the same time you will have to continue that for a longer duration. That's called, you know, heightening and sustaining the performance over a longer period. This is what the student expects, your college expects and the society experts because for tomorrow onwards your white data also carries this particular award and reward. So what is required for you to heighten your knowledge, raise the bar of your standards, equip users and then trying to sustain over there. For that you also require wonderful community. Because you know all the resources may not be available back at your college, back at your place, back at the group of friends that you have. But today you are here in a different environment altogether. Every place is different. And every person is different. And every person has got a different skill set altogether. You are in the right group of community. So here you try to connect your dots. Try to establish linkages with all these people. Because you know you are a group of you know talented teachers in India from today onwards. You can exchange resources. You can understand you know how best you can reach the next generation requirements. Today, as such, you see, state of Andhra Pradesh in particular because CM, Honorable CM of Andhra Pradesh, why is Jagan Mohan Reddy One of his favorite areas is higher education. Wherever you reach him, he would always talk about higher education. Two important aspects where he puts a lot of attention is health and education, health and education. He believes that we empower a student with right quality of education, give him of the right set of tools, skill sets, he can do wonders. That kind of a mindset because with this kind of a mindset, in fact the chairman is driving the policy. That's the reason why you know, as such if you look at all the states, under the country. Other Pradesh, in fact, is leading with reference to the implementation of new education policy. When I presented all these, you know, facts to Chandrasekhar during his uh, latest visit to Andhra University, he got so convinced. He said that, as Vice Chancellor, I understand things are really going good. And I also know about Andhra University. Come on, you tell me what should I do? I got the excitement. I said that, you know, long list of requirements. I said, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Not small, you know, quantum. Big quantum only will be asked. He said, that, yes, I am doing it. Yes, I am doing it. Yes, I am doing it. You know, I am so confident to say that. I definitely invite all of you next year also, the same day to this place. I take you around the campus of the university. I am confident that I would make this particular university as the number one university. I'm getting the support from the Chief Minister. I'm getting the required support from the higher education. I'm also being supported by Buddha Chandrasekhar because you know he is there at the helm of the affairs. He has got an affection towards Vishakhapatnam, affection towards Andhra University. And you know, the delivery that he made over here, a lot of content. We are there here to implement all this content. We have that energy because I have the best students here. And when it comes to student, I never distinguish, separate a student of the campus from the student of the affiliated college. All of us students of the university. Whether he is an affiliated college student or a student of the university or a student of other university also because, you know, today as such, you look at that ABC credit system and all. Any student can migrate from one place to another place. It means a student from your college can always you know, look for migration to this particular place. The rules are being changed. So we are all one single community. End of the day, our goal is to see to it that every single student blossoms. 
Does this country has a tradition? Even though I do not know, you know how to probably think render Sanskrit slokas because I know Emperor Rengar is very good at it. But as such, you know, historically, going back, we have a tradition. Guru, none of them were trained teachers. There were no universities. There were no institutions. Saints, saints, they were all gurus. What did they have? Just attention. Rapt attention. Pleasant experience. With that right kind of rapt attention and pleasant experience and joy to nature from within, they were able to in fact look at things. They were able to get the expression for that. Look at musicians, mathematicians of history years. Do they have any doctoral degrees from any universities? There were no universities. Now, the challenge in front of you, you are all brain teachers. But what is missing these days is, you know, the pleasantness of joyfulness is missing with the teacher. Unless otherwise, you know, you, you put yourself into that kind of a pleasant state. And unless and otherwise, you, know, you, you evolve yourself as a good teacher. Times to come, the parents probably, I think, may not have the same kind of a confidence that our, you know, forefathers had those days. Even kings were also sending their children to Guru, giving that children to the Guru, believing that, that a Guru is an evolved person. By sending his son to that particular Guru for six to seven years, they were, you know, having that kind of a confidence that this son would always, you know, become a transformed person. He blossoms and get back to the kingdom. So that's the kind of a confidence we had those days. Now that you are trained, only thing, the only requirement is that, you know, today, we are into a different world altogether. Stress, stress, stress. There is no joy at all. So try to have that kind of a pleasant experience, joyful experience, so that let us make the education system of this particular country as a joyful system, so that every student gets the benefit out of it. Thank you so much for patient and listening to me. Wish you all the best. One, the function is over. And uh, once you receive the awards and rewards, you are most welcome to the chambers of the Vice Chancellor. You can see the developments that is happening in the university. I wish to share all the developments with you so that you can go back. And if you like, you can also probably implement them out there. Thank you.